In the lighting world today, there's ETC on the one side from the USA, and there's the Philips conglomerate with its brands such as Celicon and Verilight. Um, ETC have come up with this idea, which is the fire. And the ice. And the ice. And what they've done here is pack more LEDs of a red hue into the fire and more LEDs of a blue hue into the ice, which is a very clever idea if you want to get maximum output from the device. Um, but you're going to need two devices. Yeah, look, I think it, it, these, these devices aren't going to be for everyone, but what they are going to do is they're going to work incredibly well for the people who need something like this. And that's going to be uh, the theatre lighting professionals who are looking for those really deep saturated colours. Um, it's probably a bit hard to see on camera because we've got them pointing above the camera because if we pointed them into the camera, you wouldn't be able to see anything other than a huge big flare of blue or red. Um, but Fire can do, do all the sort of warm colour gamut, whereas ice is designed for cool colours. And what you will notice, um, if you can see it, is we've actually got blue LEDs in fire and we've got some red LEDs in ice. It's just that there's a lot more red ones yeah. in fire. We, um, we're looking at, you can't see it on camera, we're looking at some really intense colour there. Yeah. Um, it's, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing way more than a par 64 worth of blue coming out of this thing. Yeah. Which is my universal benchmark because that's my era that I come from. It is, it is. It's really funny watching you measure amplifiers against par 64s. But anyway, there, there, are, there are, as I said, the, the complementary colours there. So you can actually achieve different colours, just less of them. But they, the output on these things is super punchy. And where it's really going to work well, as I said, is for those saturated colours. Not only because you get a lot of output, it's a nice soft output. You've got optional lenses you can slide in uh, to change the beam and so on. Um, and the other thing is that you're going to save a lot of power, you're going to save a lot of replacing gels. Um, if you look at something like Congo Blue, which is about 3% transmission, uh, running full tilt with those in 64s, what do you reckon you get a couple of hours? Yeah. Then, you, then you pull them out, throw them away time. and replace them, for which you've also got to pay someone to go climb through a rig. So mm. there's some safety savings to be had as well. And we got, we got a narrow spot type, nice circle of light there. Um, we got zero heat, of course. What's not to like? Um, $2,400 each, roughly. That's the price point. It's, it's an LED world. It is. It's where we're headed.